Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on one of the advanced tree called as K-dimensional tree or or simply we can call it as KD tree. Okay, so it is one of the important concept in advanced data structure. Okay, first one, first point in a K-dimensional tree. The KD tree or a K-dimensional tree was personally developed by John Bentley. Okay, so in the K-dimensional tree, K stands for number of dimensions and D is nothing but dimension. If K is equal to 2, then it can be called as a two-dimensional tree or a 2D tree. If K is equal to 3, then it can be called as a 3D tree or a 3-dimensional tree. If K is equal to 4, then it can be called as a 4D tree or a 4-dimensional tree. Okay, so K is equal to 2, then it can be called as a 2-dimensional tree. K is equal to 3, it can be called as a 3-dimensional tree. K is equal to 4, it can be called as a 4-dimensional tree. In the case of 2-dimensional tree, each and every node can contain only 2 dimensions. So this is a 2D tree. In that one, each and every node can contain 2 dimensions. So that is, this is the X dimension, this is Y dimension. So X coordinate refers the X dimensional value. Y coordinate represents the Y dimensional value. In the case of 3D tree, so each data point in 3D tree is a node. That node contains so three values. First value is X coordinate. Second value is Y coordinate. Third value is a Z coordinate. X coordinate represents on X dimension. Y coordinate represents on Y dimension. Z coordinate represents on Z dimension. Okay. In the case of 4D tree, each data point can contain four coordinates. Okay. Each and every coordinate can refer to four one dimension. So four coordinate represents four dimensions. Okay. Next one. What is KD3? Okay. Suppose there are some data points are there. For organizing the data points on a k-dimensional space, here k value 2, k value 3, k value 4. Okay, anything may be. For organizing all the data points in a k-dimensional data space, we have to require a space partitioning data structure. That data structure is called as KD tree. In the KD tree, okay, the data points are organized in the form of a tree. So that tree is called as a KD tree. So each and every data point can be represented by a node. Okay, next one. Each node in the KD tree contains a data point. Okay, so this is a node. This node contains a data point. That data point contains how many number of coordinates? First coordinate, second coordinate. First coordinate is X coordinate. Second coordinate is Y coordinate. X coordinate represents on X dimension. Y coordinate represents on Y dimension. Okay. So each node contains at most two children. Okay. Every node, every node can contain at most two children. At most two children means it may contain two children. It may contain one child. It may contain zero child. So this node contains how many number of children? Two children. This is left child and this is right child. This node contains how many number of children? One children. So there is no right children. Okay, only left child is there. There is no right child. For this node, how many number of children are there? Only one left child is there. There is no right child is there. For this node, there is no child. Zero child. 
for this node zero chains okay each node in the kd tree may contain at most two children at most two children means it may contain zero child it may contain one child it may contain two childs okay next one each level in the kd tree has a cutting dimension so cutting dimension means which coordinate which coordinate we have to consider that means which dimension we have to consider so each level okay each level in the kd tree has a cutting dimension for example we are taking this level this level is the first level the first level cutting dimension is x dimension this is the second level the second level in the second level the cutting dimension is y in the third level the cutting dimension is x so this is a 2d tree okay we are taking two dimensions because 2d means two dimensions we are taking two dimensions okay first root node x dimension we have to consider next level y dimension we have to consider two dimensions are completed again we are starting with x dimension for the next level for the next level y dimension after that x and y again x and y are repeated okay so here there are two dimensions are there for the cutting dimension for the first level is x the cutting dimension for the second level is y once two dimensions are completed again we are taking x for the next level next we are taking y after that this is the repeated x y x y x y x y is the repeated for the corresponding levels suppose uh, we are taking 3d tree okay how many number of dimensions are there in the 3d tree three dimensions are there first level cutting dimension is x second level cutting dimension is y third level cutting dimension is z x y z once completed again they are repeated for the next levels okay so cutting dimensions means uh, which dimension we have to consider for taking the uh, for for considering its chain okay so that can be discussed in this example okay now example insert the following points into an initial empty 2d tree 2d tree means it is a two dimensional tree each and every data point can contain two dimension first one is x coordinate x coordinate can be represented on x dimension y coordinate represents on y dimension okay so now initially we are taking the uh, empty 2d tree okay there is no nodes are there in the empty 2d tree first we are considering the 53 comma 14 okay so this is the first node and this is the root node because before inserting this uh, data point so there are no data points are there so we have to insert 53 comma 14 okay next next the next data point is 27 and 28 now 27 and 28 point can be inserted as the left child for this node as the right child for this node how we are considering here here cutting dimension is x okay now we are considering only x dimension x dimension means x coordinate so in this one x coordinate is 53 now we are inserting this data point 53 is compared with 27 so 53 is compared with 27 27 is lesser so that 27 comma 28 can be acts as the left child for 53 comma 14 because the cutting dimension is x that means we are considering a x coordinate value so x coordinate value is 53 here this one in this one x coordinate value is 27 53 is compared with 27 53 is greater and 27 is lesser so that 27 comma 28 can be inserted as the left child of 53 comma 14 so now this data point is also inserted next data point is 30 comma 11 okay first 
empty comma level is compared with the this node. It is same like as a binary search tree. First, we have to compare this data point with the root node. We are considering x value, x dimension in that level. So, 30 is compared with 53. So, 30 is less than 53. Go to the left subtree. In the left subtree, we are taking another node is there here, 27, 28. Here we are considering, in this level, we are considering y dimension. Okay. So, here in that one, y, y coordinate value is 28. Here in this one, y coordinate value is 11. So, 28 is compared with 11. So, 11 is less than 28. So, go to the left. So, here we are creating a, a node. In that one, we are inserting the data point. So, now 30, 11 is the left child of 27, 28. Okay. So, here which cutting dimension you are selecting only that corresponding dimension for a coordinate that can be compared with the inserting value inserting value coordinate okay so now it is also completed next we are taking 67 comma 51 first this data point is compared with this data point here we are considering cutting dimension is x so now 67, this is x coordinate value, 67 is compared with the 53 because we are considering x coordinate. 67 is compared with 53, it is greater, go to the right subtree. Okay, so now 67 comma, uh, go to the right subtree here, there are no nodes are there. Now, 67, 51 can be inserted as the right chain of 53, 14. Okay, after inserting 67, 51, so this is the tree we are getting. Next, next, next value is 70, 3. First, 70, 3 is compared with the root node. So, here we are, con we are considering only x dimension. So, 70 is compared with 53. So, 70 is greater. So, go to the right subtree. Okay. In the right subtree, one node is there that contains 67, 51. So, now this node, this data point is compared with this node. Here, we are considering y dimension. y dimension means y coordinate. y coordinate is here 3, here 51. So, 3 is compared with 51. 3 is less than 51 so that here there are, there are no nodes are there. So now we are creating a new node and inserting the data point 70 comma 3 as the left child of 67 comma 51. Okay. So now all the data points are completed. Now this tree is called as 2D tree. That means two dimensional tree. Okay. Next. Next. Exam next, another example, inserting the following points into an initial empty 2D tree. Okay, it is also a 2D tree. Each and every data point can contain two dimensions. So, this X coordinate can be represented on X dimension. Y coordinate can be represented on Y dimension. So, initially, there is no tree is there. Okay, so whatever the first data point we have to insert, that is the first node in the 2D tree. Okay, first, so there are no nodes are there. So, first 30, 40. Okay, so this is the first data point we are inserting into the two-dimensional data space. So, 30, 40. So, we are creating a new node and inserting these values into that node. Okay. So, now the 2D tree contains a single node that contains a data point value 30, 40. Okay. Now, it is completed. Okay. So, next, next here, next data point is 5, 25. Okay. So, 5, 25, this data point is compared with the data point in the root node. 
Now we are considering cutting dimension is x. That means we are considering only the x coordinate values. So now 5 is compared with 30. So 5 is compared with 30. 5 is less than 30. So go to the left subtree. We are creating a new node and inserting this data point into that node. So now 5 comma 25 as the left child for this node 30 comma 40. Okay. So now this is also completed. Next one is 10 comma 12. Okay. So 10 comma 12 is compared with the data point in the root node. Here we are considering x coordinate. Cutting dimension is x. So that we are considering the x dimension. 10 is compared with 30. So 10 is less than 30. Go to the left subtree. So in that left subtree, one node is there. That node contains the data point 5 comma 25. Now 10 comma 12 is compared with 5 comma 25. Okay. Here we are considering y dimension. That means we are considering y coordinate. So here y coordinate is 25, here y coordinate is 12, so 12 is compared with 25, 12 is less than 25. So that go to the left subtree, we are creating a node and inserting 10 comma 12 into that node. Now 10 comma 12 data node is the left child for 5 comma 25. Okay, so now 10 comma 12 is also completed. Next. 70 comma 70. Okay. Now, so this data point is compared with the data point in the root node. So here we are considering the cutting dimension x. That means we are considering the x coordinate value. So here x coordinate value is 70. Here x coordinate value is 30. 70 is compared with 30. 70 is greater than 30. So that go to the right sub 3. Here, right subtree is empty so that we are creating a node and inserting the data point 70 comma 70. <coughs> this 70 comma 70 as the right child of 30 comma 40. So now this data point is also inserted. Next, 50 comma 30. So 50 comma 30 is compared with the data point in the root node 30 comma 40. Here we are considering the x coordinate because cutting dimension is x. So 50 is compared with 30. So 50 is greater than 30. So go to the right subtree. Here the right subtree contains a node that contains the data point 70 comma 70. So now 50 comma 30 is compared with 70 comma 70 by considering the y dimension. Y dimension means y coordinate we are considering. Here y coordinate is 30, here y coordinate is 70, 30 is compared with 70, 30 is less than 70. So that go to the left subtree, here the left subtree is empty. Now we have to create a node and inserting this data point into that node. Okay, so now 50 comma 30 data point that is the node, this node becomes the left child of 70 comma 70. Now 50 comma 30 is completed. So next 35 comma 45. Okay. 35 comma 45 is compared with the root node. So this root node contains a data point 30 comma 40. Okay. Here the corresponding cutting dim this corresponding cutting dimension is x. 35 is compared with the 30. So 35 is greater. So that go to the right subtree. So in the right sub 3, one node is there 70 comma 70. So this node contains a data point 70 comma 70. Now 35 is com 35 comma 45 data point is compared with the 70 comma 70 data point in that node. Here we are considering y dimension. Here 45 is the y, y coordinate. Here 70 is the y coordinate. So 45 is compared with the 70. 45 is less than 70. So that go to the left subtree. So here the left subtree contains a node 50 comma 30. So now 35 comma 45 is compared with 50 comma 30 by considering the x dimension. That means x coordinate we are considered. 
35 is compared with uh, 50. So 35 is less than 50. Go to the left subtree. It is empty. Now we have to create a node and inserting the data point into that node. Now this node becomes the left child of 50 comma 30. Okay. So this tree now these are the applications of KD tree. That means where in which applications KD tree is used. First one is query processing in sensor networks. So in sensor network to process the query we, are, we have to use KD tree. Next one nearest neighbors search. Okay. Suppose we are taking a node. Okay. What are the nearest neighbors for that node? We have to search the nearest neighbors for a node. So for that one, we have to use KD tree. Next in optimization, we have to use a KD tree. In ray tracing, we, also, we are also used KD tree. Next database search by using multiple keys. Okay. So we have to use multiple number of keys. keys. So like primary key, uh, secondary key, super key, candidate key that are uh, different uh, keys are there. So we have to search the database by using multiple number of keys. So for that one we have also KD tree. So these are the applications of KD tree. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel link. So Divvela Srinivasarao.